Okay guys, uh, this is a 2004 Hyundai Tiburon with a 2.7 liter that I've been working on it. And uh, the symptoms with this car is uh, this car got the auto sensor and rich condition and bolts bank. I uh, take the first shot in this car because it being in a lot of uh, garage around here and uh, they cannot figure it out the problem so uh, my first approach for this car I'm gonna show you in my uh, in my scanner but I'm gonna show you how to navigate in this first I got it already in my data manager but what I do with this thing if you see in the bottom here when I touch this guy, I got this line here. I press the house and I go to my data manager. And that's how can you navigate and, uh, and the variables going back and forth. Now, going back to this, uh, I go into my scanner data folders and I gonna pull out the before in this car, what was happening and this car okay and this here was my first approach approach for this car and look at the readings uh, open the window here okay and you're gonna see the readings I'm gonna bring the fuel trim numbers and in the bank one and bank two. This is and this is the bank one sensor two and this is uh this guy here and this is this guy here. So you're gonna see how rich this car was running and uh, the heaters I can bring the heaters too the heater was working and the closed loop in bank one and bank two that was working that is one of the thing that you want to you know when you are in open loop the computer is not controlling your your sensor so it's got to be in closed loop so this is how this car was running you know and my first approach for this car so i tell the customer listen you gotta smoke this in here for any leak that you got in this car and they did find a intake leak in the car okay so you're gonna see the numbers before and after and uh you're gonna see here that the computer tried to uh try to fix you know and, and one point drop it but uh it's still you know in rich condition this was idle i can bring the rpm so you see the the car was at idle. Let me stop this guy here. And uh, bring me the RPMs here. Somewhere I see it before. There you go, the RPMs. And uh, you see the RPMs there. Um, when I raise the the rpm doing uh you know going to uh accelerating the car that was at that point was almost 2600 rpms so look at uh when when you go on rpms that the, the closed loop switch to off position but uh you can see let me continue with this thing you can see when it goes back to idle is when it's supposed to be controlled by the computer they are straight line and 900 
32 in this guy, 946 in this guy. So um, you're going to see that before and after. And uh, you're going to see the numbers. Okay, guys? Bye. Okay, back again with the... Back again with the Hyundai Tiburon. Let me go get out of here first. I tell this guy to go and smoke the engine because the the Lambada Bank 1 and Bank 2 wasn't in their limits and rich condition. Let me see for coats what we got now. Okay, so we don't got the auto sensor problem no more. Now we got the 449 EBAP solenoid circuit. That's another another problem. Okay, back to that. Let me see the, the code again. 449 I believe it was. Yep. P0449, go back here. Let me go to system test, functional test. Let me see this engine running test. Continue, let me see what I got here. Only injector problems. Collecting data. Okay, so you got a wiring problem here with this thing. Okay. Back here. But the the sensor problem that you got with the O2 sensor that went away. That is no no more a, a problem here. The lamba the lambada um, limit your all four sensor was a nine. 900 millivolt that is going that is not longer a problem okay here here's what uh, we're gonna go custom data this select all we want this we want rpms we want this guy we want this guy we want closed loop and both bank we want these four guys and then I want to see the injectors fuel trim and I want to see all four heaters And volt and volts. Let me see if this guy got map sensor here. And it doesn't because he got mass airflow. Okay. View select the guys here. Now we cooking, you see? Yeah. This is the way it's supposed to work. Is it working better? Oh, it's working. It's working just fine. Let me see. This guy here. And this guy here. That's the way it's supposed to. Before, we got a straight line. Yeah, remember? Yeah, it wasn't doing the grand. He wasn't doing that, so. Right. Before you got a straight line. This guy here he got a question mark. Let me see. 
bank one sensor two bank two sensor two this guy here I don't know if it uh, is working the opposite side as this guy here you know so so it's going you know let me see if I if you react you'll see that reaction there yeah Heater we got. Yeah, that's you see that fuel trim kind of high in. Let me see fuel trim kind of a little high, but that is the mass air flow. I bet when I I clean the mass air flow now, it's gonna change those number. You see seven, nine, ten, yeah. ten. That is kind of high there. But if I ch I clean that mass air flow sensor, that will change. Let me see here. Okay. 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 Let me stop this over here. And uh let's go back here. Exit. Exit. And, uh... Okay, what I'm doing here now is uh, cleaning the mass air flow. And as you can see here, this guy. What I do with a small screwdriver, I just not doing a pressure on it. I just touch it and clean it, you know, like this. Now this type of mass air flow carry this this guy here, and you cannot eliminate this. Okay, if you try to eliminate this, you wanna you creating more problems than fixing problems. Okay, so right now my numbers are good but I want to get a better better numbers and um, what I'm doing I already clean it a little bit but what I'm doing as you can see here I just touching this guy here gently not making any pressure and the same one with the back one you know not making any pressure just clean it a little bit and spray the the sorbent on it and uh, and most of the times uh, let's say 90 out of 100 you clean these guys here very clean and it do the trick it will fix the problem um, this car got an other problem with the P0449 which is the 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 evap uh, vent solenoid and I don't gonna do this over here I probably gonna do a test that to see if I can hear it hear the sensor working but I will not go under the car I will not go under the car and uh, Right now what I'm doing here is putting this guy back. And I get to back to you guys when I install this back together and show you the numbers in the scanner. Okay guys, thank you.
Okay guys, this is uh, what I got here now. Before my fuel trim numbers was on positive 9, 10. This is a uh, fuel trim, fuel trim numbers and bank 2. Now it's uh, reaching up to 6, 3.9, negative 8. The computer right now is correcting these numbers because it's seeing, look at the fuel trims and bank 1. It's correcting. When you see that negative 5 there, it's correcting the fuel trims. So that means if you got like before I got positive 10 and now it's going to negative 5 or negative 4 uh, rest that to the positive number so you're gonna have an average of 5% in filtering numbers that means that cleaning the mass airflow sensor was a success it's working okay that that number that number is good. This car was will pass inspection except for that EVA problem now they has got to be corrected like I say I don't gonna do this this has got to be done in a in the in a shop where you gotta raise the car and do some tests and the EVA uh, solenoid that is he leave behind the gas tank somewhere there so this car now, the filtering numbers, that is good. Negative 6, negative 9, negative 11. You see the computer is correcting, correcting the filtering numbers now. That means if you go to negative, before was positive 10, positive 11. So that is good. The computer is correcting numbers. So... So if you take that to the positive that you got before equals zero. So that is a good number there. Now you can see the auto sensor before this guy was uh, in rich condition all the time. This is my bank two sensor two. This is my bank one sensor two. And this is my bank one sensor two. No, bank two sensor one, and this is my bank one sensor one. If you can see those numbers there before, this car was a straight line, and the Lambada, I got two codes for the Lambada, and the maximum reach condition. I tell the customer he gotta take it to smoke the engine, they find a leak. This is after the leak, I find the number is kinda high, now I clean the mass airflow sensor and this is the this is what we got here. This guy here, I don't know, I gotta check this 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 guy here. Uh, totally different to this guy here. But that is another concern. Okay guys, thank you.